Well, I heard uh, there's people questioning how tall my Eagle Seed soybeans actually are. So, we're gonna put all the questions to rest with a tape measure. We're gonna put tape to it. Let's go see how long this stuff actually is. Well, I just pulled up here to the soybeans and there's a deer out down there in the bottom. But we're gonna go out there with this tape measure and we're gonna put a tape on how long the stuff actually is. I uh, spread a bunch of brassica right in here amongst it that's doing really good and you can see how big all this brassica is right here on the edge. It's looking really good. Well, I need my tape measure. That's important. <laughs> oh, here's some honkers. Five of them right there. Goose season uh, comes in on Wednesday in two days. Oh, there's more of them behind those ones. Right there, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve of them all together. Okay. You can see that there is some weeds in here amongst them, but there's a bunch of brassica as well. That's brassica right there. Geez, those are making a lot of racket. see what these pods are looking like on here too you can see all these they're flowering out right in there there's a bunch of bean pods in there look at all them things those are all pods there's a bunch of bean pods in there Yeah, this is where they're extremely tall, it's right in here. I have a fence out there that you can't even see anymore. <laughs> that deer's still standing right down there, looking at me. That thing's got the biggest buffet ever right now. Stuff is getting browsed really hard. I mean, when you look at this, all the tops are are eight off. Look at all the bean pods on that one. Holy smokes. Loaded with with bean pods. There's a brassica coming up. Let's get right over here where this fence is. This stuff's actually so thick it's hard to walk through. What's amazing though uh, one of the things that I can't believe is how this brassica is even coming up right in here amongst the thickest of it. Like when you dig down through, look, that's brassica growing right there. I mean, it's not growing very good, but nonetheless, that's brassica. Can't believe it's got enough sunlight to to grow underneath all this stuff. I mean, right here, this stuff is just extremely tall. Swimming in it. Just for the heck of it, let's uh, extend this tape out and see what we got right here. Okay, so you got the tape extended out here. Let's put this right down to the bottom. I'll show you that it's on the bottom down there. I can, okay. 
there's the tape right on the ground. Let's take it all the way up. So we're at four feet right here, a little over four feet right there. That's on the ground. And that's actually longer over here where this fence is. Let's go look at that. This stuff in here is incredible how long it is. Okay, so we're right here at the fence. I put this fence up to try to save uh, browsing pressure to see how tall we can actually get this stuff in here. So I'll show you. Let me move some of this beans around here so you can see this base. Okay. So the tape measure is right on the ground, right there, right at the base. And we're gonna take it right up. And we're at just under five feet to the top, but if you bend these things up, we're at five feet. I'll show you. Just like that, that's five feet with it bent up instead of folding down. Which is pretty, Darn incredible. Eagle seed soybeans at five five feet tall in western New York, Chautauqua County. You know, a lot of people said that you really couldn't grow these soybeans to grow like that around here. But I got a, a two and a half acre lot right here with eagle seed soybeans averaging about four feet. I mean, look at it compared to me. They're massive. And actually, some of them on the edge are actually starting to tip over because of all the bean pods coming. The plant is so heavy that it can't withhold all the weight, so they're tipping over in the wind and actually cracking at the base. Let me show you the actual stems where these things are coming out of the ground. Geez, there goes a bunch more geese over that way. We might have to go hop in the truck and see where them buggers are going. I was going to show you the bases of these things. They're like, look how thick the bases of those plants are coming out of the ground. I can. They're huge. Well, hopefully that answers a lot of questions. A lot of people, uh, some people were saying that there's no way those beans are actually as big as he's saying they are. Actually, that one's well over five feet, that one right there, because look at how much taller it is than these ones. That bean plant, that one's like probably five feet, five inches or so. That's a giant compared to the other ones. But uh, the tape measure don't lie. Eagle seed forage soybeans are no joke. When the deer are out in this portion, you can't even see them. All you see is ears. And there's a little eight point out here a few nights ago and it was hilarious. He was walking across the beans and all you could see was the tips of his horns going through. It was pretty nuts, really. This is going to be super exciting going into a hunting season with a good crop of beans. I've never had a had an opportunity to go into a hunting season with a crop of beans like this and with this many with this many pods. You know, years past I've planted them and they just don't come because the deer hammer them as soon as they come up. But this year, uh, I devised a plan to plant these things out away from where the deer are comfortable for the most part. You know, way out here, there's a road right there. We planted corn to to screen the road and. Uh, this is kind of, you know, a long ways from the real hardwoods. This is all red brush in here, but the deer aren't comfortable being out here. And uh, it actually made it so I could get a good stand of beans. Yeah, they've, they've pressured it pretty hard, especially now they're browsing it pretty darn hard. But 
Uh, there's enough of them out here that, you know, they're doing good. So can't wait to see what this turns into this fall and uh, you guys are gonna see as well. Let's check the other plots out right down here as well and see how they're doing. Here's the strip food plot, everybody. This is not doing nearly as hot as it's done in the past. We had got a ton of rain and uh, you can see where a lot of the water runs off this hillside and ran right down through the edge of the food plot here. It ran right through there, right down through there and pulled up in the bottom. So what I'm gonna have to do is take uh, triticale or a, a winter wheat and we're gonna take and broadcast all that here in the next week or so. So it'll end up growing and being nice and green and being something that the deer like. Up here we got a good crop of brassica growing, but we're gonna make this even better yet. I'll just go ahead and wrap this video up. I really wanted to show you guys uh, those beans you know better than just walking out into them. I had some questions and had uh, a few people on there say that they weren't as big as you know they looked in the video because there was a roll in the hill and that when you when I walked down the hill you know I was lower than the beans were which is complete bogus. Those beans are literally five feet tall. Unbelievable. I mean I put a tape on it to show you how tall they really were and the amount of bean pods on them is incredible too. It's this unbelievable you know a lot of people said that you could never you couldn't get a crop of beans like that in western new york in the area i'm at and uh, it's just not true with the right with the right soil qual you know with good soil quality and a little bit of maintenance and work you can turn eagle seed soybeans into something pretty special but i'll go ahead and uh leave you guys to it if you guys have any questions about how I planted those eagle seed soybeans or where I got them or anything, just put a put a comment in and I'll I'll fill you in on all my all my uh, secrets. <laughs> have a good one, everybody.